Hey everybody, it's Lon Seibin. We've got another unboxing. This is actually not going to be for a review, uh, but rather a sponsored video that I'm doing with Synology on backing up. And uh, what they did is they sent me over as a loaner uh, the DS216 Plus 2. And what this device does is uh, supports a newer file system called BTRFS, which allows for uh, incremental file changes to be saved within the file system. So you don't have to remember to keep backups. So you should have to backup anyhow, of course. But uh, in the course of the day, if something gets overwritten or uh, one of your coworkers does something crazy to an Excel file, uh, you don't have a backup, you will actually have the files uh, saved incrementally right within the file system as they're being worked on. We're going to demonstrate uh, how that works. So this is a diskless system. So what that means is that I have to uh, install my own drives on it, which I will be doing shortly, and then I'll uh, get the thing booted up and operating. So what's nice about the way these Synology devices work is that they're often toolless in their design. So you just have to uh, take out these drive rails here and uh, insert the drive. They snap back into place and you're good to go. So let me go get a drive and show you how to get all this stuff hooked up. All right, so I found a hard drive, actually two hard drives to install. I'm using WD Greens right now, but you really should, if you're going to be doing something mission critical, uh, have a drive that is uh, more designed for a NAS environment. So WD has the red drives. You also have some drives from Seagate uh, that are NAS certified. And basically what they do is they have better uh, warranties and they're often designed to be a little more robust than maybe a basic consumer drive like this one is. But uh, just for these demos, these are typically easy enough to get up and running and cheap enough, of course, to get up and running. Uh, so what you do here is just slide these rails in like so and just snap them into place. You want to make sure that these uh, rubber gaskets here align with the uh, screws on the drive. And then uh, all you have to do after that is just pop it into the case here and you're ready to go. So really no tools at all required here. You just pop that front case off and uh, just slide the disc in here. You're just going to make sure you've got the SATA thing aligned and uh, slide it in like so. It snaps in. It doesn't come out. And I'm going to put the other drive in there and then I'm going to boot it up and uh, start playing with the BTRFS file system. And that is all there is to it. So on this one here, you've got uh, two USB ports in the back. You've got gigabit ethernet. You also have an external SATA connector also. So if you want to do faster backups and that sort of thing, uh, you can do that. And then of course, our two drive bays on the front, a USB 3 port here and a power switch. I think this is a USB transfer button here on the front. So you can stick stuff in, hit the button and copy stuff over to your NAS that way. All right. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to go through and actually do a Synology NAS installation from scratch. I was going to show you from the very beginning, but uh, these drives already had an installation on them that it migrated. So I just wiped out out the uh, installation so I can at least show you how to get the uh, RAID volume set up. So I'm going to go over here to Storage Manager and uh, you can see everything is healthy and that I have no volumes on our system. So we're going to create a volume right now. Now I could do quick and have this done really simple, but I think I'll do custom just to show you what some of the options are. Uh, so you do have the options to have multiple volumes where you have separate volumes on the same set of drives. We're just going to do a single volume on this one. I've got these two drives installed here. I'm going to click next and then it's going to erase everything. And we don't have many options on here because uh, this is only a two drive system. So we can do a RAID 1 where they are mirrored to each other. Uh, or we can do a JBOD where each drive is just uh, separately accessible. Or I can do Scary RAID, RAID 0, where uh, we get a lot of speed and double the capacity essentially because we can uh, combine the two drives and use them as one. But if one drive fails, you're totally out of luck. So we're going to play it safe with RAID 1. And then it's asking me to perform a disk check. I'm just going to say no. We'll see if it picks up any along the way. Now, this is the most important part here, especially if you have a Synology disk station that supports the new BTRFS file system. You definitely want to go with that file system because it is a little more robust than EXT4. So um, this is what we're going to be using in the backup video is talking about how BTRFS can protect your data. I'm pretty sure this is the default now on uh, BTRFS uh, supported NAS devices when you set everything up. If you already have one uh, already set up with the EXT4 system, uh, you have to rebuild the array from scratch to go to BTRFS. So um, good idea to do it from the get-go here. I'm going to click on Next here and Apply, and that is it. It's going to build out our RAID array. It'll take a little while because it has to get everything all set up. And when it's done, I'm going to start working on that backup video and show you how all of this stuff works. So stay tuned for more on the main channel at lon.tv. This channel is brought to you by my Patreon supporters. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash Patreon to learn more.
And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv s.